Food is a critical resource in many RTS games, but what is the best way of gathering food in every age in Age of Mythology? Is it fishing? Is it hunting? Let's find out, so when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. To keep it simple, we're going to start off with food generators that require zero effort, the first of which being the Flood of the Nile upgrade. Flood of the Nile is an Egyptian-only upgrade that is limited to the major god by the name of Isis. It will cost you 180 gold and 5 favor. This upgrade will generate 45 food per minute constantly. Next up is the Plenty Fault, limited to the Hephaestus Minor God, which gives you a whopping 180 food, wood and gold per minute. That's 15 food every 5 seconds. Very, very good. But at the same time, it's a Mythic Age God power, so... You know, that's late game. Still very good though. Next up are Chinese farms. Now, because these aren't actually villagers, I'm going to put them in this category as they generate the same amount of resources every single minute. No matter how many you have, each will generate 30 wood, gold, or food. So that's fairly good, but at the same time, a villager can do more as you'll be seeing very soon. Fishing ships in the Archaic Age, given that the fish are relatively close to the dock, have a 34 food per minute gather rate. Now you may or may not know that only one ship can go on one stack of fish, which is infinite by the way, but to keep it simple we are just going to keep it at that. Ideal conditions, the fish isn't too far away from the dock, so that the travel distance doesn't cut into the food per minute. Now I'm sure this isn't the meta for everyone, but I believe if there is water on the map, you want to be using fishing ships as they cost wood and not food, and you're getting food in return. The Persa Sign upgrade will increase the food per minute in the classical age for fishing ships from 34 to 45 food per minute, which is a significant increase. Following that, your fishing rate per minute will go from 45 to 58 food per minute in the heroic age with the Salt Amphora upgrade. This upgrade will also increase the carry capacity to 50, increasing the food per hour if you are fishing quite far away from your docks. Because you will be able to carry more, you're traveling less, that means more food per minute. Now according to the tooltip, Salt Amphora increases your fishing rate by 40%, but 58 from 45 is an increase of 30% and not 40%. It might vary per minute, but um, that's what I found. As for hunting, without any upgrades, you can expect anywhere from 45 to 48 food per minute. Yes, that's a lot more than the fishing ships. It's quite impressive actually. Once you start using the hunting dogs upgrade, you can get up to 65 food per minute. With husbandry, you can carry up to 30 food, which is double the 15 food you normally carry, which if you are hunting from a slight distance from your granary or ox cart, will mean a slight increase in food per hour. But for my testing, it seemed to be 65 regardless. Now in the Archaic Age with Thor, you can also get the pig sticker upgrade, which increases the food gathered by 10%. But keep in mind that that upgrade costs 100 gold and it requires 40 seconds before researched. The Hunting Dogs upgrade, increasing the hunt by 30%, takes 20 seconds to upgrade and costs 100 wood and 100 gold. In my opinion, I would get Hunting Dogs first every single time. And if you're playing with the Major God Odin, you will have a plus 20% base gather rate over any other god, which means the max food per hour you can get with hunting is around 78 from the classical age on with all upgrades. In terms of gathering from different animals, the gather rate seems about the same, but keep in mind that you can fatten up your animals by keeping them alive, which slowly increases the amount of food you can obtain from them. Of course, if you have elephants on your map, they will have a lot of food anyways. As for gathering or foraging from these berry bushes, the food per minute is around 38. Farms in the classical age without any upgrades will give you around 34 food per minute. Keep in mind that Egyptians can actually build farms in the Archaic Age, unlike other civilizations. With the Pharaoh, you can empower your granary or town center to get around 48 food per minute from your farms with the plow and husbandry upgrades. The Rain God power, regardless of age, will give you a 2 times bonus, meaning you'll be getting double the food per minute for a solid minute. This effect is shared with your allies, and most importantly, if you are going to use the Rain God power, you want a lot of villagers on farms, and you want to have that husbandry and plow upgrade to make the most out of this God power. 
Now, Sacred Cats being a classical age bit of research limited to the minor god Bast, costing 110 gold and 10 favor, supposedly doesn't even increase the farming rate by 10%. This didn't change when I added Irrigation, the heroic age upgrade for farms to the mix. 53 food per minute, and yet it still didn't increase with Sacred Cats, and the pharaoh enhancing it. I'm not entirely sure why, but this is the case. As for the Greeks in the heroic age with the irrigation upgrade and all the previous ones, they get around 45 food per minute from the farms. Per villager, of course. In the mythic age, this is increased to 50 food per minute with the flood control upgrade. As for the Egyptians, if you're still using the Pharaoh and you have the Flood Control upgrade, you're able to get a whopping 56 food per minute. In the Mythic Age with the Egyptians, you're able to get 56 food per minute, but if you add Son of Osiris to the mix, that should be boosted by another 5%, and if you add the Rain Power on top of that, you can get a whopping 138 food in one minute in the Mythic Age. If you were theoretically bound to gathering food in a certain style, what would be the best? Well, to put it simply, hunting is the best given that you have ideal conditions and you don't need to move around. That being said, as soon as the animal's food is used up, you're going to have some downtime in between gathering food, which is why hunt is balanced. And I know Poseidon has a lure god power which brings the animals to you and you can move around with your scout and get those cows to your hometown center, get them fattened up and then use them. And yes, that's the thing, but still you need to consider moving around because it is a factor in gameplay. If you have water on a map, I don't see how you wouldn't be able to combine both hunt and fishing to get a lot of food per hour. If you're an Egyptian player and you don't like micromanaging your units with hunt and you don't like looking around or there's a map with really low hunt, Farms could be a good option, especially if you empower them using your pharaoh. So, is there a worst way of gathering food? I think it's situational and it depends on the map and the player. That being said, there's definitely a worst way of gathering food, which is foraging from those berry bushes. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.